We all have a fictitious self, a facade we wear like a mask. This version of ourselves is constructed over time as we intuitively process how to perceive the world and how the world perceives us. In 1908, Florence Nightingale Graham moved from Toronto to Manhattan and opened her first beauty salon on Fifth Avenue called Elizabeth Arden. Elizabeth went on to pioneer the multi-billion dollar global beauty industry at a time when women didn't even have the right to vote. She was one of the wealthiest women in the world for nearly two decades and the first businesswoman on the cover of Time magazine. But so few know her story today. 100 years later, at the age of 18, I followed in her footsteps, moving from Toronto to Manhattan to begin my dream internship at Elizabeth Arden. I knew nothing about the beauty industry, but was fascinated by the woman behind the brand, whose inspiring legacy was at risk of falling through the cracks of history. Elizabeth became my invisible guide as I tried her successful lifestyle on for size, with a big career in a big city. But behind the glitz and the glamour, I soon struggled to reconcile who I really was with who I wanted to be. What began as a desire to preserve Elizabeth's place in history evolved into an examination of my own coming of age in the beauty industry. Ultimately, this book is about identity and how we learn to navigate the world to find our best self, even if it's on a different path than we originally anticipated.